All right, so go to our browser right here, and the URL section will type in fiverr.com. Fiverr.com right here. All right, so we're going to click on join right now, and this way we're going to enter our email address all for learners. Learners does official at gmail.com all right you can see right here all for learners official gmail.com has been registered before i just added a dot here the dot is going to make this particular email address look different from all for learners official gmail.com all right so i click on continue right here and this way i'm going to enter a username so let's call this coco beans 1000 right then the password here click on join right here all right so after that the first thing you do right here is to verify your email address so let's go back to our email address right here you can see this is fiverr right here i'll click on activate my account all right you can see that here now the first thing to do here is to set up my profile all right, I click on profile here. All right, you can see right here there is no image. It's important that you add an image, so let's click on that. Scroll down here, we'll select this image right here. All right, and the next thing to do right here is to click on create a new gig. Click on continue. Click on continue. Click on continue. All right, and right here, this is the personal information. Manuel George, enter a picture right here. Let's assume this is what we want to use here. Then under the description here, you can type in anything. And after that, this way we select the language here. So I'm an English speaking person right here. I type in English. Right. Now I'm fluent in English. Right. I add this here. This is your occupation here, programming and tech. And under programming and tech, let's enter WordPress, our websites, builders, and CMS. After that, we scroll down here. Then here, we can enter our skills. Website design here. As part, we click on add here. Add new right here. Let's call this SEO. As part, click on add here. Click on add here. You can add as many skills as possible, all right? Then after that, you add education. Click on add, right? Then right here, this is a certification. Click on add right here. This is where you're going to enter your personal website. Or for learners.com. Then right here, you click on continue. All right, so we skip the year here, 2004 to 2022 right here. Scroll down, click on continue here, all right? This is where we're going to link our social accounts, all right? So right here, this is our Google. If we click on connect, it's going to open a new window for us, all right? This is the email address. If you want to connect all of that, you can do that. And you click on continue here. Then account security, uh, the email address has been verified. The phone number, you can add your phone number right here. All right, after that, we click on verify by SMS. All right, so I have the code right here. 12748 here. Click on submit code. Click on OK right here. And what is the name of your elementary school? Let's select this. Click on finish. Okay. You can see right here now, go ahead and create your first gig to start selling your services. You can edit your profile information anytime. Click on done right here. All right, so this is the gig title here. So right here, we can type in something like, uh, all right, so category here, select programming and tech, website builder and CMS. All right, now this is the service type here. So we're going to select full website creation. 
right so right here we have the gig meta the first one here talks about the platform they will have specification they will have supported plugin type so let's click on the platform right here uh we can select blogger right here or we can just come directly to where we have other and we type in wordpress all right so that's that for that then after that we we'll click on specification right here we're going to select blog then we we'll select business we can actually design a blog website a business website but also design an educational website you can also design a portfolio website you can design entertainment websites uh this is podcast after that we move to supported plugins right here then uh right here if you are working on e-commerce it's necessary to select payments then this is marketing plugin we have video plugin we have a map plugin like the google map we have gallery here we have faq all right and after that we have the search tag build websites content writers we have wordpress blog we'll check this then we'll click on save and continue all right then this is just a scope and pricing right here this is where we are going to select the basic the standard and the premium plan all right so right here we're going to select the basic plan responsive website all right under the description here we can see and after that we'll talk about the standard plan so the standard plan here says responsive seven plugins then under the description here you can see i will create fancy website with basic pages and seven plugins with seven plugins and five posts and five posts all right so under the premium here we can say of premium website futures so right here you can say we we'll create 25 posts with 35 posts and all the necessary with a well-written search engine optimization right and right here you can see functional website is checked here let's say we select two pages right here and right here you can select any page to suit what you want select we wrote seven right here then right here let's make this 10 pages all right then content upload right here we we'll select this we'll select this we'll select this you can uncheck this for content upload then responsive design this is responsive let's select this also responsive responsive right if you want to uncheck this you can uncheck this depending on what you want to offer right here then design customization you can select for this and this e-commerce functionality you can just select for this all right number of products right here if it's an e-commerce website you can add three here then right here you select seven then right here you can make this unlimited all right then under plugins or extensions installation you scroll down you select plugins right here let's say this is seven plugins then right here select 10 plugins all right then pricing for this I make this 25 US dollars, then this we make this 50, then right here we make this 150, right? Then add extra services. Right here, this is basic. I'll deliver in only uh, let's call this two days for extra 10 US dollars. Then for standard, can deliver in four days for 15 US dollars. And deliver in four days for let's say 25 us dollars if you want to add additional page to the pages we have created you can cost that right here you can select the duration you can select one day right here design customization you can also add charges for that you select the duration right here 
Then e-commerce functionality, you can also add charges for that. So select then here, then uh, let's select a day. Additional revisions for extra 10 US dollars. You can select two days here, stock photos. If you want to add stock photo, you add that. This is additional plugin installation. You can also cost this. Then right here, you select a day. After that, you click on save and continue. We didn't actually add delivery time right here. So right here, we select two days. Then this, we select, let's say, five days. Then for premium, 14 days here, depending on your schedule, all right? And after that, we click on save and continue. All right, so this is briefly describe your gig. So this is where we're going to write a short description about the gig. Right here, let's type in something like all types of right. Then after that, you scroll down, you click on save and continue. We're going to click on this. This is where you're going to make request from your clients so logo media files about us contact us easy business information and likes right so right here if you want to be in attachment you select attachment right here and after that you click on add click on save and continue right here let's select yes right here we'll close this you can upload up to three images so this is where you are going to upload images of the recent work you've done take for instance right here i have a screenshot of my website so right here i'm just going to pick this upload that all right so you can select as many images as possible all the websites you have worked on you can upload all of that after that you click on save and continue all right you can see you are almost there you need to take your time to do all of this are you a US person? If you are in US, you click yes. If not, you click on right here. You click on save. We'll close this. Publish gig right here. And see your gig is open for business. You can see this is the link to the gig right here. You can share on your Facebook page. You can share on Twitter and LinkedIn right here. All right. So we have successfully created a gig in Fiverr right here. We need to click on preview. Save and preview right here. I see right here, this is a gig. I'll create a professional website for your business. This is my name right here, Kobo Beans 1000. You can see this is my recent work, right? You can upload as many as possible. This is just an example about the seller. You can see there is no image right here. We can set an image and all of that. I'm an experienced website designer with over five years of work experience. I can deliver high quality website in few days with revisions to suit your taste. Then compare packages. We have the basic here. We have standard and we have premium. You can see all of that right here. This is the button to contact me right here, right? So basically here, this is how you can list your service as a web designer on Fiverr, right? There is another thing also that we'll discuss when we're talking about lithium. Right here, we want to see how we can spy on others. So how do we do that? We click on switch to buying, right? We'll over our mouse on programming and tech. This will take us to where we have uh, gigs on WordPress. Then this will take us to where we have gigs on WordPress builders and CMS. So let's select this. All right, you can see this. I'll design Shopify landing page, product landing page, home page, and the likes. And this person says I will add custom HTML, CSS, and JS code to Squarespace website. I will design and redesign your Squarespace website, WordPress, and the likes. So let's assume we want to spy on this particular gig right here. If you click on that, you can see what this person is trying to offer right here. The basic plan covers one page. Uh, design customization, content upload, responsive design, two plugins or extensions. Then uh, this is the standard plan 100. The premium here is saying 180 US dollars. You can see this person took his time to write a comprehensive about me. So you can take your time to do the same right here. Then compare packages. This is the basic package. This is the standard. This is the premium. You can see this is similar to what we had. All right. So you can spy on people gigs and you can update your gig right here all right so basically here this is how you can sell 
your skill in any of these freelancing websites since you have known how to do that with lithium and fiber it's applicable to 24 Com. If you observe very well, you find out that almost everything we did on Lithium was what we did on Fiverr. So you can go through all of these uh, other freelancing websites and add your business, right? Then the last point here talks about submitting proposals. This is very, very important. Submitting proposals, how do you do that? Remember when we were talking about the local host, we said you need to create a project. If we go to our file explorer here, click on this PC. I'll click on local this right here, then we'll open the one folder, then we'll open the www right here. You can see these are the two projects. Remember, we installed WordPress in these two projects. What this particular point is trying to tell us right here is that you can create as many projects as possible, create database, create users, and connect our WordPress to this projects in such a way that we can have so many websites designed in this project remember when we talked about how to create multiple databases you said take for instance you are having a client requesting for an e-commerce website another requesting for an educational website another requesting for a publishing firm website we said you can create multiple projects right here then you can also install wordpress to this project and you design your website in this project so basically here yeah, this is one of the ways you can sell your skill you can create as many projects as possible install wordpress and then design website locally using your local server you can design like five different websites for schools and after designing the website with the local server you can decide to visit 100 schools in a month with the proposal so you're going to be going with your laptop and you'll be going with a written proposal telling them that this is what is achievable with the website you have designed this is how the website can help grow their business and the likes so out of the 100 schools targets you give yourself at least 20 persons will be interested in your project and you know that's a lot of money right so this is a way you can sell your skill as a web designer you can create a lot of websites in different business niche and you submit proposals to them using your local server the next one here is using the subdomain all right we'll go back to our browser right here you find out that we created a website called uh, first.offforlearners.com right here remember that now this first.offforlearners.com is a subdomain under offforlearners.com it simply means that you can create as many subdomain as possible in a particular domain without buying a domain name all right just one domain i bought called offforlearners.com and we created this particular subdomain called first for learners.com you can create as many subdomains as possible and you can design your website live the only shortcoming in this is that if you go to a local site where there is no network you'll be having issues showing your clients the kind of website you have designed all right but this is actually a nice practice there are lots of business in a developed area where you can design websites with subdomain and you can actually present this website for approval all right doing so you find out that you'll be selling your skill as a web designer all right so basically here this is how you can sell your skill as a website designer